all right y'all welcome back to my motherfucking channel um if you didn't know i'm raquel now you know raquel rochelle and um if you're returning thanks thanks for coming back thanks for you know continuing to watch my videos i really appreciate that um if you're new hey <laughs> um don't forget to like comment subscribe you know all that good shit all that good 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 shit and um i don't know i'm just trying to try something different and you know just upload more content i just want to upload more content all right so <laughs> This is going to be a story time. This is going to be a story time. And it's going to be about when I was. It's going to be about this girl. Okay. Let me just get into it really for real uh, for y'all because I'm just I'm kind of. Scrambling, I'm all over the place. But, all right. So, at this time, I was working at the strip club. And it's a, it's a cool little strip club. It's, I want to say, I mean, people know about it. Um, I was working at Stars. It's at, uh, it's on, it's in, it's in Gardena. Stars. That's off of, like, Rosecrans. And fucking um, Crenshaw. You get the Rose Crunch Crenshaw. Make that motherfucking uh. I don't know if it's a left. I think it's a left. Make that left, and you there. You feel me? So, I was working at um Stars, and I met this girl, and her name. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna call her Katrina. I'm gonna call her Katrina. So I met this girl. Me and Katrina, we cool. We um, we so cool. We started dancing together. You know what I'm saying? And when you you dance with somebody or whatever, y'all go up there and y'all split the money or whatever, you know, whatever y'all get, y'all split the money. So, um, we so cool. We used to dance together. I was cool with her. Like, it was cool. Like, okay, you know. So, um, she moved like, she moved like, she met, I guess she met some dude. They got together and they um, had a baby. She met some dude, they got together, they had a bed. And I was still cool with her because she was still like, I don't know, even after she had the baby, I she's I think, okay, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like she stopped working for a little bit. Of course, duh, because y'all is pregnant. But she stopped working for a little bit. And um, you know, sat down, had her baby or whatever, and then she wanted to she came back to the club or whatever. So we, you know, we working and I'm still cool with her. Like while she was pregnant, I'm still cool with her. When she come back to the club, um, she had moved closer. Like, I don't know, like her baby daddy or the, the, the father of her child um, lived closer to where I was staying at the time. Like they moved like over there, like they moved, they moved. Or whatever so i found out she lived like kind of close to me so i was like oh shit bitch like you live close to me like that's that's what's up i'm where you at like let's pull up let's chill or whatever and um i would go over there and chill like a lot i would go over there and chill i would stay with my dad i didn't have um i didn't have nobody to worry about but myself at the time i didn't have kingston so i was um just you know I would go where go and do whatever I felt like doing like <clears throat> that's what I would do. So um I would go chill with her and shit and her dude like he had like a job like to where he would be gone for like he would be gone for like a lot, like a long time, like months, like not just one day, two days. 
a week. He would be gone for months, like, and she would be on the phone with him calling, like, you know, like, I guess he was, like, a, a truck driver. But, um, <laughs> I guess he was, like, a truck driver or something. And he would be gone for, like, months and shit. So, <clears throat> By this time, her baby is already, like, one one or some shit like that. One. Yeah. He's, like, one. So, I would be going over there, and we'd be hanging out, chilling. And she would be, like, if it's something going on, like, like okay, like, let's say it's a party coming up or something. She would have to find a babysitter. She would find a babysitter, and <clears throat> she would take her baby to this babysitter that was, like, 24 hours. And I, like, now that I'm thinking, like, now looking back they don't got them no more like the two five babysitters like who the fuck i don't know she dropped the baby off late at night <clears throat> and we'll go out like we'll go out and one time we went to the w all right i ain't that's another story time but so let me get back on track but um Yeah, like, she would drop her baby off of leak. Like, we need to do something or we wanted to go out or, like, whatever. She would drop her baby off. And... <clears throat> her dude would come, you know, after, like, he been, after he make his runs or his drop-offs or whatever he was doing, however he was doing it, he would come back, like, and be... There for I would say he would only be there for like a couple of days or some shit like maybe like a couple of days or something. But um, I would leave like I mind you like he's gone a lot of the time. So and I stay with my at the time I was staying with my dad, but he's gone a lot of the time. So but I would be over there like a lot of the time. Like I would be over there like and um. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> all right so and he'll come back and be there a little bit or whatever and i would leave like i wouldn't like i'm not like y'all do here i'm gonna leave i'm not gonna be like all in y'all y'all mix or whatever like in the business and shit like this your time he came back home this your time is what you do like that's your time so I will leave and they'll be, you know, doing the family thing or whatever. But as soon as he would go, she would be like, boop, 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 calling me. Like, what's that bitch? What are we doing? Like, or whatever. So I would um, pull up. Shit, fuck yeah, pull it up. All right, it's clear. The coast is clear, bitch. I'm pulling up. Uh, 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 pulling up. So. Um, one time when he came home, like, I'm, he was, like, pissed or something. I don't know, like, if it was because, I don't know really the details like that, but I guess he found out that she was cheating on him. He found out that she was cheating on him, and it was, like crazy like because she was like, crying like and then it's like it's crazy because i have to go through this shit too like you because you my friend i have to go through the shit too because okay so he think that you cheat on him she's crying i'm trying i'm trying to chill like i'm trying to consume my own girl and shit she's fucking katrina she's going off she's like she's going she's like doing the ugly girl you know what i'm saying like really trying to get her man back or whatever and he like bitch you uh cheating on me with you why the fuck you cheating on me and i'll be gone like they have like a house like not an apartment i'm not even gonna sit they had like a cool little house that she was staying at that he had her staying at with their baby and shit while he'll be you know going and do his duties as a man i guess and you know Gonna get the dough, come back with the money, pay the bills, and all that shit. So he get mad because he find out that she's cheating on him. 
So he's like giving her fucking, he like, bitch, you can get the fuck out and all this shit. He's taking it to the, to the max. He's going over. Like he's pissed. Like, I mean, that's his woman. He love her or whatever. And he was pissed. Like, of course, like I would be, I mean, I don't know. I, I found out I got cheated on. I would be. I don't know if I'll just cheat back, but I'll be like, I'll, I'll be mad. Probably cheat back. I don't know. <laughs> but, oh, my foot, sorry. But, yeah, so, um, so, um, at, he basically gave her an ultimatum. Like, okay, well, bitch, since you cheating on me, I need to go, I'm, I want to take your friend out. He want to take your friend. He want to take it. He want. I can't even say the shit. He said to her. He told her since you want to be cheating on me and meeting up with dudes and doing all this shit, I want to take your friend out. And I'm not thinking that he talking about me. I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking. You know, shit, she got some other friends. I don't know. I don't know. She got the friends. Like, I don't think that he's talking about me. Like, he wants to take her friend. And she, he's on the phone with her. And he's yelling at her. She's crying. She's crying. She's crying. And I'm trying to console her. Trying. Like, I mean, I can't really. It ain't too much I can do. This nigga fucking going off on your ass. And um, I'm trying to console her. And. She asked me, like, he said, I could stay if you go out with him. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Why, why is it up to me? I'm <laughs> the deciding factor in your relationship. I'm not going to be able to help this. This is not this. I don't know. I'm like, go, just go out. What you mean? Like, go out. And he like, he want to go out. He want to, I don't even feel comfortable saying that. He talking about he want to go out to eat and he want to go out. And basically like, I don't know. I kind of felt like he was saying like he wanted to. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. Because the water fuck, like that's weird. You know, like the fuck. So, um, she kept asking me, she kept asking me, kept asking me, kept asking me, um, can you just go out with him? Y'all just gonna go out to dinner and y'all gonna go out or whatever. He probably gonna buy you some shit. And I'm like thinking to myself, like, this is fucking weird. Like, it's no way for me to help this situation. Like, it's no way. Like, how, how, how is me going out with your dude? gonna help you like that's not gonna help you like you're gonna be mad at me or something like i don't know i don't know i just feel uncomfortable like what the fuck so they kept as she kept asking me kept asking me because he kept threatening her threatening her and um she kept asking me can you just go out with him can you just go out with him and i'm like what the fuck like this shit is weird as fuck like i don't that's your dude like what the fuck so I um I ain't even gonna cap. I told her yeah I would go. I told her yeah, I ain't even gonna cap. I told her yeah I'll go. I go. And then when it was time to go, I didn't show up. I didn't I just basically changed my mind, like, nah, this shit weird. This shit ain't right. Like, girl, I can't save this for you. Like, I mean, you know, I can't. It just don't seem right. Like, I couldn't do that. Like, that's weird. Like, you want me to go out with your dude? Like, it's weird. I, did, I didn't want to go. I felt uncomfortable. And I didn't want to go. So, I didn't. And they was a pissed. She was pissed at me. Like, girl, like, you, like, I <clears throat> went with you, opened up your legs, and 
guided some other nigga in your area. I didn't do that. You did that on your own. Like, it's not my fault that I don't think that is right. But it's not my fault that you got caught up. It's not my fault. It's really not. It's just not. And I didn't want to participate in that. I just felt like it was going to go way left. It was going to go left, left. Like, I don't... It was just... I just couldn't do it. I really couldn't. It just felt, like, wrong. Like, what the... F I'm going to go with you and go do, like, go out with your dude. Like, no. That shit is out. That shit is out. So, we was, we was getting into it. She... Got into it with me. So tough to wear. Like she put me on fucking line. She put like a picture of me. On Facebook, they had like this um little group. Um group pages. Like I wanna say what the fuck was this? It was called Room 21. This bitch posted me. <clears throat> on fucking round 21 a picture of me and I when I was uh, I had like a little surfboard on my head I had a surfboard on my head she posted a picture of me and wrote this long ass fucking long ass fucking paragraph talking about like I don't remember what the paragraph was or whatever what the fuck it was about but she was just talking shit like saying look at this bitch or she said what's wrong with this picture or something I remember that. She put, like, what's wrong with this picture? And it was a picture of me with, like, a surfboard. I was holding a surfboard because I, you know, I've surfed before, but we ain't gonna get into that all that. But it was a picture of me holding a surfboard on my head. And she gonna put, what's wrong with this picture? And it's funny because wasn't nobody giving her what she was trying to get. Like, girl, People was like, what's wrong with it? <clears throat> and I thought that was funny. Like, bitch, you trying to... <clears throat> you trying to embarrass me, but... For what? Like, for what, bitch? Because you cheat on your nigga, and he wanted to take me out, and I didn't want to go? You were trying to make me go out with your nigga? Like, no. Like, what the fuck? I mean, no. No. The fuck? So I don't know. That shit was crazy. I that shit was that shit was terrible because I don't talk to her no more. We're not cool no more. Um I'm not sure if she's still with her dude with that dude or whatever. The house they were staying in, it ain't even there no more because I used to you know how you just hitting corners in LA and shit? And you just drive past. Not like you looking for somebody or nothing, but you drive past and the whole damn house gone. <laughs> the whole fuck my eyelash coming off. The whole fucking house was gone. One day I drove past her house. The whole house gone. So Mm -hmm. That shit was crazy though. That shit was crazy. It was my fucking crazy. But um, all right, y'all. That's the end of that little story. I just want to get something out to y'all. Get it out to y'all. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos. And, um, you know, thanks for watching. It's just my little experience. I, my experience or whatever. Just want to share it with y'all shit. But peace out.